Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming out on this typical Austin day <laughs> in springtime. Today we are here to honor a person who in his daily life does extraordinary things for Book Spring and to the Austin community, Mr. Wayne Quinn. I'm George Mahalchik, and I'm the program coordinator for Recognize Good Legends. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about Recognize Good, uh, how we got started. I'm gonna, I can do that because we have a very special person here today. Tell you about some of the other programs that we have, and then we'll get into the really, really good portions. We'll have some stories about Wayne and some presentations that we as the, uh, the final rebuttal. We started Recognize Good back in 2008, whenever we had uh, a chance to give people literally around the world the opportunity to say thanks to family, friends, acquaintances for the good things they do. Our purpose in Recognize Good is to illuminate the good that we see in society, that we see in our everyday lives. And we noticed that some of the recognitions coming in were extraordinary. And so we wanted to find a way to talk about it to illuminate, to set these folks apart. And so we developed what we call the Recognize Good Legends Program. And back in March of 2010, we had our very first ceremony. Anybody know who that first legend was? Jill. Kay Goosh. And what was it, 380 young people? Something like that. In the audience? Lots. Uh, yeah. And they were all surprised. They were all pleased to see Kay get that award as the very first recognized good legend. And so we've progressed in that over the years. Uh, we've expanded recognized good in the legends program. Of course, we're here today to talk about Wayne as an outstanding individual. But we also have a couple of other programs that we use to illuminate the good that we see in our lives. Look over here. We have who we recognize, of course, the legends at the top. We have what we call our Recognize Good Lighthouse Award for organizations such as the Lions, the Rotary, Book Spring. We would like to recognize the good work that the civic organizations do. And so whenever we have a presentation for the Lighthouse, we make a, a donation, a pay it forward donation <clears throat> in that uh, organization's name. Uh, we provide two tickets for Ethics and Business Community Awards Luncheon, which occurs in May, and a couple of other items to include uh, some plaques that they can put up. But we recognize individuals in this kind of a ceremony. We recognize groups in that ceremony. We also have what we call the Ethics and Business and Community Award, and that's an annual award that is very, very sophisticated in selection because we have nominations come in and then in concert with Concordia University, the graduate students there uh, talk to the various nominees and they select three. Those three go to the committee. The committee then determines who is going to receive that award. In ethics and business and community, we have a small business, a medium-sized business, a large business, a nonprofit, and an individual award. And that annual uh, luncheon occurs in May. It's going to be at the AT&T Center. Is it May 16th, Joel? 17th. 17th. May 17th of 2018. And we also have another program we call the Ethics in Youth Education. It's a program designed to highlight the need for ethics in our high school students' lives. How they can use their practices what they do, what they learn uh, in terms of ethics to increase uh, or to better their resumes to help them get better jobs, get into college, and the like. And so those are a few of the programs. Let's get back to Recognize Good Legends because today is Wayne's Day. Wednesday. Okay, and here we are in Wayne's world. <laughs> but today is, is special because of the presentation we're going to have. But it doesn't stop here. 
because throughout the year you'll be able to build the social networks and then in January of 2019 we are going to conduct another Say Thanks Austin campaign. In that campaign people literally from around the world can say thanks to Wayne or any of the other 2018 legends and the legend who receives the most thank yous, and this is where the social network comes in to get folks to say thanks, will get a $10,000 pay it forward donation in that person's name. And so mark this on the calendar, February 16th, I believe it is, of uh, next year, it'll be a Friday. Uh, say thanks, Austin. Joel will have uh, the folks send out the information on uh, when it starts, how long it goes, and uh, different voting venues to include social media, electronic, paper, uh, Text, yeah, uh, except for call-ins. I don't think you, you, you can text a message, but you can't call in. Anyhow, that's what we do in Recognize Good, and it's it, it's really amazing to see what Joel and the staff have done. We go back, we look at Kay's ceremony, and and uh, that was our very first one. We thought it was great with all the things we have, but now with uh, the team that we have here, it is so so much better. So what I'm going to do is now turn it over to. Uh, uh, Emily and uh, she's the executive director so I'm going to let her talk a little bit about Wayne and about uh, book spread. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. This, this good for you guys. Um, so uh, I'm Emily Balchikini and I'm the executive director here of Book Spring. And Book Spring, for those of you who may not know, is a 40-year-old for over 40 year old organization here in Central Texas. And what we do is we build early literacy in children and families through healthcare, education, and the community. And I think it's important to understand that we do this through distributing books, but also through doing motivational activities directly with the kids. And um, that involves reading aloud, acting things out, bringing out beautiful costumes and making kids really excited about reading and giving them a choice of books. Um, so one of the things that Wayne does is make it possible for us to serve partners like Houston Elementary School and uh, we actually have 30 elementary schools and 20 pre-K centers and about 25 uh, health clinics that serve low-income populations where doctors give out books as part of well child exams. Plus, we've been working in housing authorities all over Central Texas in the five county area around Travis County. So we are dependent upon Wayne's driving skills to get materials and books all over Central Texas. And I am personally indebted to Wayne because he helped me scope out the new van that we replaced after 17, 17 years, years of service. <laughs> Just recently, this last year, with the help of a lot of people from the community through Amplify Austin, through the Rotary Clubs of Austin, through um, a lot of personal donations. So my goal, our goal here is in, in Austin right now, is to get 20 books in every Central Texas child's hand by the year 2020. And the reason why this is, is that 20 books in the home, at home, so they can read them every night, so that they can fall in love with them, and books that they care about, is a predictor of three more years of education. That, that variable, that presence of books in the home alone, is really transformative. And right now, we did a study, and 25% of all families with kids under the age of 12 are saying they have less than 20 children's books at home. So this is something we need to change. Bookspring is going to work through the community, through wonderful volunteers like Wayne, through you all, to get books to the lowest income kids that don't have access. But every child needs to have books in the home. That's really gonna make a big difference on all our success in Central Texas together. So this is really a community effort and I think really uh, speaks to the work of Recognize Good and how important it is for us to work together as a community on these large problems like literacy. When, when you start thinking about the problems of literacy and how it's a predictor of um, people not succeeding later in life, 
dropping out of school, running into problems with crime and with, ed with employment, those are big problems. And none of us is gonna solve that alone. But if we work together and we keep looking towards the good and know that good will come of it. That's why I love this name of recognize good because I think that that's, it's really important to take the moment like we're taking right now to recognize people that do something small but important and persistent. And Wayne Glander is an example of somebody who selflessly has just committed every Thursday for the last 10 years to come into Book Spring and take boxes and put them in the back of the van and take them to where they needed to go. He's full of humor, he's full of fun, the kids recognize him, and we depend upon him. We, both as a board, as a staff, as an organization, we depend upon Wayne and many, many other volunteers. But Wayne in particular <laughs> is a very special volunteer to us. It's the hat. So, <laughs> it is the hat. Um, so uh, I think that's um, my um, kind of contribution to the day today. Um, and uh, our, would you like to introduce our lovely Amanda Shaver? I will certainly do that. Before we get to Amanda, uh, we need to recognize uh, Daniel Hogberg and Judy Roth from the Tyrex Group. They are the company that make all of this awesome. And of course, Joe Gonzalez has been uh, at every Say Thanks Austin event since uh, 2011 when we first started. Okay, now, need to get set for this. When I was at Lackland Air Force Base back in the early 80s, the base library had a slogan called, Readers are Leaders. Agree? Say it with me. Readers are leaders. Readers are leaders. Okay. Our next uh, speaker and our presenter is Miss Amanda Schaefer, and she has a few things that she would like to say. And when she's done, I'll ask Kay to come up and join us, and we'll make a couple presentations to Wayne. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out today and braving the weather to honor Wayne. Um, it was really meaningful to me to be able to nominate Wayne for this award because he has been so helpful to me um, here at Bookspring and when I transitioned into working with volunteers, which is something I had never done before. Our previous volunteer manager was like, you need to get on Wayne's good side because <laughs> he will teach you everything you need to know. If you are in a crisis, you can call him. I was honestly trying to think when Emily was talking about like the 10 years that Wayne has been here and the over 500 Thursdays, if Wayne had taken a sick day and I was like, is Wayne ever ill? And if he is, I don't think he's ever sick on a Thursday, like never, <laughs> not a thing. I don't know how he arranged that, but you know, it's amazing. And sure enough, I got on Wayne's good side sometimes, like, you know, I'm not always on his good side. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, I struggle sometimes, but he really made me feel a part of the team when he made me a very special mug that said, um, Princess Royal of Awesome, <laughs> and it has a little Justin Bieber image on the bottom and has become a symbol of when you are really, you know, when you have arrived at Bookstore. <laughs> because Wayne, honestly, not only helping us pack the books, deliver the book, take our motivational activities to libraries. It's so much more than that. I mean, we just had a group of kids in the office here for a field trip to come and bring in books that they had donated. And of course it was on a Thursday because I schedule everything in the office on a Thursday because it's the best day of the week because our Thursday volunteers are here and one of those being Wayne. And so we had a whole group of like 40 pre-K kids packed into a room about this size and they were listening to me read them a story and Wayne and some of the volunteers were sitting behind me um, watching and you could just see them, you know, he had his hat on and they're like mildly interested in the story, much more interested in Wayne and his very cool Justin Bieber hat. And as soon as we started going around and collecting the donations, I just looked over and there's a whole little group of kids surrounding Wayne at the table and they want to talk to him and see his little hat. And really, it's like that everywhere he goes. He's Justin Bieber to the kids, and he has told me um, 
and it's in our nomination that he believes that reading is important to inspire the imaginations in children. Um, I'm not going to turn this into a lecture about teaching to the test, but <laughs> reading and education is supposed to inspire you and teach you to think outside the box and make you, you know, the kind of individual that Wayne is, that goes out of their way to help people and that wants to make a difference in the world. And he absolutely does that. And Everywhere he goes, the kids think, you know, Justin Bieber. If you've never seen Justin Bieber, if you're a little kid, you know, hey, this could be Justin Bieber. <laughs> and he'll sign autographs. And everywhere he goes, you see him wearing that hat, and you know he's bringing the joy of reading. He's bringing you books. He's bringing you something that's going to transform your library and make a special event for kids and build literacy. And that's really, really important. And. We honestly could not do what we do without him. We, he has done everything from like painting the buildings the first time Twice. to helping us <laughs> purchase the van to answering all of my random questions about what would I need for this or should we use a drill to attach this donation slip sign to the you know side of the book drop? Any kind of random question that you have, Wayne is there for you. Any kind of activity you need him to do, he is there. And that's just something that's really rare these days. I mean, people are just busy, and you don't see that kind of true commitment to an organization, to an idea, to the goal of making sure that children have books in their homes and that kids are reading and that they're loving it. And Wayne just shows absolute tireless dedication to that and puts up with my snark on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> Which honestly is a job in and of itself and I really, really appreciate him and cannot say enough how much he does for our organization. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and now we get to the good part, Amanda, if you say, if you're Wayne, if you'd come up and stand right in front of our recognized good son. Okay, if you'd come up and help us, I'd appreciate that. And you'll be on the, uh, on the other side of Amanda. Amanda, you need me right here. Oh. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we where we're supposed to be? I am. Uh, the, first, the first gift we have is a Recognize Good mug, and it has a symbol for Recognize Good to include a uh, star for illumination, a uh, dove uh, for caring, a heart for love, and in that we have a pen, a flashlight, okay. and there's also a $100 Target card. The next one is our book of good deeds. It has Wayne's picture, it has his nomination, uh, some other information about Recognize Good and about Book Spring, and it also has some blank pages here for the, photos. So for the photographs. Exactly. Yay. <laughs> and by the way, this this is the t-shirt you can barely see here. It's the very first t-shirt ever issued by Bookspring. Right. Here's yep. the very first one. Yep. I have every year. Oh, right. I think he's the only one that has every year. So it's very cool to see them whenever he comes in. Oh, yeah. I got it. brought it in the car just in case you needed it. <laughs> so awesome. I didn't know what to wear. <clears throat> <laughs> the next item is a bromeliad, and we give that as a living token for remembering today. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> Hope you have a green thumb. I do, actually. I I know. Know. There's, there's a spot in the house that was for real well. Oh, Excellent. Okay. Next is our presentation check. 
Do I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hold it too? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have a better one for you coming up. <laughs> that check is for display in a place of Wayne's choosing. Okay. Uh -huh. You can go in your kitchen window, too. <laughs> <laughs> Lock out all the lights. <laughs> yeah, that's right. One more thing to hang on the wall. Yes, exactly. And of course, I know Kay will, will take this one. It is a check for $1,000. No, 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 no. No, Kay doesn't get that one. <laughs> well, that was quick, wasn't it? <laughs> that didn't last. I know. Give that to Amanda. Oh. That is our negotiable check to be deposited in the account of uh, Book Spring. That is so cool. <laughs> okay, Wayne, we're going to turn it over to you. Okay, thank you very much. And you need to stay up here for just a moment. Your very first action as a legend is to present that to Amanda because she wrote the nomination. It too has a gift card in it. Well, an appreciation. <laughs> and for all the snarky comments. <laughs> snarky really is in the dictionary, by the way. I looked it up once. I guess they added it, like, that's, that's one of her favorite words. <laughs> Snark. Snarky and snarkiness. <laughs> Thank well done. you. Thank you. And Thank Wayne, you, the Wayne. floor is yours. Oh, well, gosh. I, don't forget, there's lots of other volunteers out there that do everything just as much as I do. Uh, but as I always tell everybody, I just hang out there every Thursday. <laughs> but, I really do. I'm honored. I really appreciate what you all have done. And I'm almost embarrassed. Uh, I will. I, I actually did think about this a little bit last night during the storms. I couldn't sleep anyway, and I didn't know if I had to say anything or not. But I will tell you a couple of different stories. I've been asked innumerable times why do you do this, and I don't know if I've ever given a definitive answer. But I'm, I will tell you this: as, as I, there's two things that, as a kid, I really how some things just stick out in your mind and you never forget. That's probably about eight or nine, something like, something like that. One of them is getting my very, very first library card. And it was a big day to me. And I grew up in a little small town in, in North Dakota, southeast corner, not too far from Fargo. Not even 5,000 people lived. And the, the library was a massive three-story construction on top of this largest hill in the city, which wasn't very big, but it was huge, it was massive. And you'd walk up these, these steps, and there were a lot of them. You'd open these great big doors, and there's this great big desk with a librarian, she looked about 120. <laughs> <laughs> but I always remember how excited I could go up there and then give her my first, get my first library card and take out something. And the very first books I remember taking out were The Secret of the Hittites, which is the Egyptian about the history of, of Egypt, and 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And a lot of those, both of those books had a real influence on me in terms of, I eventually became a, an archaeological contractor, consultant actually. But anyway, it made such an impression on me how excited I was. And I've always figured, well, every kid should have that opportunity, right? And so I figure if they could get a book, read a book, and in this case, keep a book, that's kind of what it's all about. And that's, that's really what we do it. So, and then the other thing that I remember, as a kid, and my father was there. He and I ran a little uh, business during the summer when I was out of school in the lawn mowing service. And my next door neighbor who was a real nice lady, and, and she's probably as old as I was then, uh, came over and talked to my father. And I, I, I guess one of the things you'd never forget, and she said, You really have a nice kid there, or a nice son, or something like that. And then she said, kind of under her breath, she didn't think I was listening. And she always, she said, too bad, nice kids always finish last. I'll never forget that. Because that's a fairly common phrase, at least when I was growing up. I don't still is or not. And I hope that dispels that. <laughs> 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 but it's been, it's been a real, real joy here to help these, these folks out. And I, I do enjoy their, their company. Uh, I will also tell you one more story. The very first time I showed up here, because I retired in 2008. And I was looking for something to do. And I, I don't quite know how I found Bookspring, but I did and came over. 
and at that time, you've heard this story before, you weren't here of course, but the, the entire length of this building was filled with books to the ceiling. <laughs> and they just had the two buildings at that time. I mean, it was filled with books to the ceiling. In the center was this great big corporate table with all the nice chairs and stuff that had been donated to the, to the group for whatever reason. And part of my job at that time was to open up all of these books, all these boxes filled with books. And the way you gave them up then in terms of the various categories are a lot different than what they are now. But it was like opening Christmas sets and says, oh gosh, I can do that. <laughs> so that's kind of guess what piqued, piqued my interest. But I guess that's other one, you know, thanks for the honor. I really appreciate it. I don't think I deserve it. I like to say I just hang out here, but <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. So I, that's what it's all about. Everybody has fun. And if you do Justin is a big part of this. He's my alter ego. The <laughs> um, city of Austin knows Justin very well, especially in a lot of the doctor's offices and the kids throughout Mustard A I S you know, the Austin Independent School District. Everybody recognizes this guy. And I've been asked to sing. <laughs> I've been asked, as she, I think alluded to, uh, asked to sign autographs, which I have done, and I wish, I really wish that when I had gone home with that kid, with his Justin Bieber autograph book, and the mother looks at it and says, who knows what they said. <laughs> that kid really thought he had something. <laughs> But anyway, that's that. I guess that's all I've got got to say. I'll keep it short.